Good work, Ben. Thank you very much to those who watched part one of our tour of the Mies building. Welcome back as we go into part two. Let's go. First lab on this tour, the Immersive Environment Lab. So let's go and have a look and see what we got. So what you have in here is an igloo. And um, before you ask, no, it doesn't get cold. But what it is, is a 210 degree screen that allows us to replicate an individual's peripheral vision. So this is more related to skill acquisition, anticipation, but can also be used for clinical. In a sporting context, we could use it for things like penalty kicks in football, in netball, we could use it for tennis uh, and a range of others. In terms of clinical, we've used it for stroke rehabilitation, action observation. It also has occupational uh, application, which is what we're building on. So more hospital environments and wards, trying to replicate on that. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get Sanjana over here to do a couple of, uh, couple of takes with penalty kicks. So essentially gonna face a couple of strikes, which way are they going? So Sanjana, left or right? Right. Good, next one. Not bad, well done. Next stop, biomechanics lab. We have a lot of fun in here. Kind of equipment that we've got. So we've got the Vicon camera set up. So that is more looking at human movement, biomechanical analysis. So we get to digitize and turn everyone into skeletons. We've also got the force platforms here that allow us to look in the force in multiple directions. So again, ground reaction forces. So Luke's participant, Jeremiah's the experimenter. I'm going to leave it to these two. Ready to jump in three, two, one, go. Good work. One of the final couple of labs left on the tour is the neuromuscular lab. So in here, we look at the brain to muscle pathway. So we're looking at the concept of fatigue. We've got bits of kit like a MVC chair, so we can perform isometric movements. And Matt and Sanjana are looking at fatigue and they're looking at the interpolation twitch technique. You've got Jite here, who's using the isokinetic dynamometer, the multi-joint system. So Jeremiah is running that experiment. We've also got other kits so we can look at interoception. So how in tune we are to the internal mechanics of our body. So we can do that on a cardiac level. We can now also do that on a thermal level. And now we're heading over to the Brighton Sport and Health Complex to look at our S&C facility. Now that we're in the S&C suite, let's show you a majority of the cool kit we've got in here. So this has your typical standard gym setup, but also has specialist equipment as well. So we've got GTA, who's on the uh, Valve Force platforms. We've also got Jeremiah over here that's performing an isometric mid-thigh pull technique. So in the S&C suite, we focus on the lifting fundamentals and we also specifically look at Olympic lifts, as you can see now. Good work, Ben. Thanks for joining us on the tour. We hope you've enjoyed seeing the spaces. Watch out for the next video on a tour of the Brighton Sport and Health Complex.